welcome to another episode of Let's Be Cooking It. <laughs> Today we got salmon. My friend Jan gave me salmon. It's already skinned. I cut the belly off. I'm gonna fry this. Um, my avapuhi wants to eat um, some type of furukake salmon, so that's what we're gonna make. So we're gonna take half of this and make our food of like salmon, like so. Careful. <laughs> and we're gonna make this part for food of like salmon. Is this enough for you? Oh yeah. So we put the fillet inside the the um, container we're gonna be cooking in. It. It's a glass pyrex. Glass pyrex. But we don't like to. Um, do a lot of scrubbing, so we lined it with some foil. Yeah, with foil. Um, we don't have to add salt because we're gonna put a, a soy mixture and some furukake. Some furukake. And then, uh, so we're gonna start with some mayonnaise. So we like to just grab that. Wah! You know, mayonnaise always tastes good. Lather it up. Lather it up. You know, fat tastes good. Fat tastes good purposely. Fat tastes good. You gotta have some fat in this. You don't like mayonnaise? Don't put the mayonnaise. You don't have to. You can use light mayonnaise or what have you. And then what we like to do after is we like to go ahead and sprinkle your food cake. Your you know whatever food cake um, that you like. We just buy whatever's on sale because you know. We're not too picky. I think we're good on that. And then we like to make a sauté sauce. So, the basis for any base sauce is one to one measurements. So, I need to uh, show you. I need a little uh, something to measure with. One to one. And usually I just eyeball like I do with cooking, but you know, I just show you guys what one to one means. If I could put a third cup, I'll show you. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put a third cup of sugar. Okay? And it's not a it's not a big piece of salmon, so you know just kind of mix it up. We like garlic, so we're gonna crush a garlic in here. Boom, that's plenty. It's lots of flavor right there. Oh, oh gotta get it all in there. Alright, that's okay if get mayonnaise because the fish get mayonnaise, yeah. So just like that, we have to add a little bit of sesame oil. Again, sesame oil, a little bit goes a long way. So like that is plenty. Then we're gonna get our whisk, okay? And we're gonna whisk this like it's Chinese New Year, okay? So we're gonna whisk away, whisk, yeah. whisk, like so. So it's kind of like a teriyaki for the puffy salmon. Okay, so we taste. It's ono, like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour it all on the outside, like that. Okay, just like that. Ooh, so ono. Now we're gonna cover it with foil. We're gonna stick it in the oven. Remember, salmon is gonna cook right here. Salmon is real fast to cook. It doesn't take too long to cook, and then you notice, yeah, it wasn't. It's not that fat of a salmon, so. I would say maybe it's gonna take 20 minutes at the most, if anything, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, cover it, put it in the oven, and we'll be right back. The oven is at 350. We've got our salmon covered in foil. We're gonna let it go for about 20 minutes. 15, we'll check it out 15. 15. Don't be an oven peaker. Okay, so we cooked the salmon on 350 for about 15 minutes. We felt we needed more time, put another 10 minutes. So 25 minutes in total. You just gotta kinda check it to see if it's cooked. And if you take a, a peek in here, it's cooked. So that's great. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and plate it and try it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try it. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> Morph. 